Hi, I'm Nixie, and today, because it is Chinese New Year on Saturday, I thought we'd look at this Barbie Lunar New Year doll. Now I know, I know she is the 2022 doll, but she was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend and I have been itching to open her up, but I thought I would save it to the appropriate time of year. Personally, I think this one is particularly beautiful, so I am happy to have her. So on the back of the box it says Lunar New Year is traditionally celebrated between January and February beginning with the first new moon and ending with the first full moon of the lunar calendar. For 15 days the holiday is filled with family gatherings and festive performances all marked with gorgeous red decorations which symbolise abundance and good fortune. Dressed in traditional Hanfu style, Barbie doll embodies the spirit of the holiday in a sheer red blouse and a sweeping pink skirt delicately printed with Maihua or plum blossoms which symbolise renewal and strength. Her hair is elegantly swept into a braided crown to reveal dainty pearl earrings and plum blossom themed accessories that complete her look. Reflecting the beauty and hope of a new year, may Barbie Lunar New Year doll be a cherished moment in time honoured traditions. So now that we've learned a little bit more about her, let's get her out of the box. Out of the box she comes with a black label certificate of authenticity and doll stand. And here she is. So she has brown eyes, a tiny little bit of pink eyeshadow, pink lips. The pearl earrings do come out. Her hair is straight black but will need a brush coming straight out of the box. She has this little plait detail across the top of her head and really pretty little pink flowers in her hair. They are tied on with strings so I've got a feeling if you remove that they probably wouldn't stay in. Now in the box she does come wearing some plastic protection which makes me worry about the colour on the sleeves if they think it's going to dye her arms. She has got quite pale colour arms. Now I'm not really sure they want you to take this dress off because there are just a couple of stitches at the top here, just above the popper. So I have now removed that just because I do want to get the plastic off of her. Actually there is also some thread here so they really are sewing her in this dress. Okay now all that's been removed we can see that the belt it does velcro on and there are these three poppers in the back for her dress and the plastic covering it's not just for the arms it goes across the top of the body too and just trying to keep her decent here but there is cell tape on the chest area here to help keep the top stuck up now apologies to her as she did end up a lot more undressed than i was expecting for this video but if you can see my doll does have a red mark on her shoulder so apparently they had good reason to put the plastic on they just failed a little bit unfortunately and she still got stained. Right now that we've got her back dressed again let's take a proper look at the Hanfu dress. So this top part is red with printed details in a sort of pale pink, blue and yellow pattern. She has this white piece underneath with again a flower pattern printed on. Her belt has a braid and a ribbon detail in red. Her nails have been painted a sort of peachy pink colour. And the long skirt part is in a pale pink, which is sort of paler and goes to a darker pink at the bottom. And again, it's got the flower printed decoration on. Mine also does have a little bit of a crease there, so it would just need an iron running over it. Now this skirt does also have a white sort of underskirt part to it as well. I'm loving her shoes. They're this really pretty ornate patterned wedge heel. It's got two straps. And yeah, I really like those. I think those are nice. I didn't know what shoes she was going to have because her dress was covering them in the box. So that, that was sort of a surprise to me, but I like those. So by way of articulation, she does only have the five points. So the head, the shoulders and the hips. And it's only a backwards and forwards for her legs, whereas her arms do move out and sideways. And just to look at her hands. So she's got one hand that's a bit more sort of cupped. So you possibly could hold something. And then one hand that is going outwards. So was she worth waiting until Christmas before I opened her? Absolutely. I think she's adorable. She's got such a pretty face and I do think this is a beautiful dress. However, as the packaging said, celebrations for Chinese slash Lunar New Year are to be with family. And this lovely lady, who I've decided to call Mei Lin, is going to be the cousin of one of my current dolls. And here she is, Maylin's cousin June, who is the holiday 2022 Barbie. So, you know, same year. There was obviously something about that year with dolls I liked. Now, obviously, I couldn't have Maylin wearing a traditional style hand food dress without getting one also for June. So I went on AliExpress and typed in 1-6 scale hand food. I do hope I'm pronouncing that right, hand food. But that is how I got this gorgeous dress. 
Now there was a lot of different colours to choose from but I thought let's stick with red and gold because I know those are the good colours for celebrating the Chinese New Year. But here it is, so it comes in two parts. You've got the dress part, so you've got a bodice top and then this tab down here and a big full red skirt. Unfortunately this is actually for 1-6 scale a bit too large. I do have some tactical pins in here. I'm sure you probably, being too large you could make it smaller, it's better than it being too small but yeah, it would be a velcro fastening but the fastening you can sort of see there's that bit and then that's, it's like that much too wide. So the other bit of fastening is there. And here's the other part, so you've got the sleeves, it's got huge sort of like openings there. It does have slits. Like I said, I'm having to take their word for it, it is, this is hand as well as that. But out of all the dresses there did seem to be quite a similar style looking. So then we'll put it back on and I do love it, like the gold is a sort of metallic effect so it's quite shiny, really stands out. Now it did also come with this ribbon, which in the photos they had put it essentially to just go over the arms like that, but in my opinion that does look a bit messy and it is really really long this ribbon. It, it's probably like triple the height of her, so hopefully it's fine to get away with not having that part. I do not have expertise in traditional Chinese dress, so if it does need that please do let me know. But personally I think this looks gorgeous, like it's a pity that it is that little bit too big but we can work with it and it's just so gorgeous, it's so pretty. Now while I was on Aliexpress I admitted I did get some more Chinese style dresses because you know while I was there. So not the Hanfu style but instead these two which from what I understand from the listing they are Chongsam, I hope that's right. So Chongsam style dresses which, like I said, I don't think it's to do with Lunar New Year, but like I said, while I was buying, I bought some more. And here it is on doll, and whilst it's pretty, like, the material's pretty, the fit round the shoulders is just peculiar. So, it's sort of a bit too far back, so there's a lot of sort of bulky room here, and like, I don't know, so the seam's here, but it should be probably more here? I don't know, it's just odd. Oh, and they haven't apparently caught up a lot of this sleeve, so maybe not for these ones, but I absolutely love the other one. But you know what, it's fine, it's fine because we like this dress and this is the one we were actually aiming for because this is the celebration one. Okay, so as we have these two ladies here, and I probably do want to rebody her, I'm wondering if this body will be any good. I think it might be slightly warmer, I think she might need something a bit paler. Okay, so this is the tennis player, which was originally on her, but I preferred the Look Stole 8 body, which is what she's currently got. That could possibly work. I am tempted to get the Purple Top Yoga um, Barbie, because I know she's the other pale one, and just have that extra comparison. And also there happens to be a Mermaid Barbie coming up this year, which I'd like to get my hands on, which I've been told is a good match for this particular body. Okay, I think I might just wait and see to be sure. Now this year it is Year of the Dragon! I did just get this from Timu, he's gonna like make it yourself dragon because it was cool. But Dragon is meant to be I believe a particularly lucky year, a lot of people want to have babies born in Year of the Dragon so that they too will be lucky. So if you're unaware, in Chinese culture there are sort of 12 different sort of zodiacs which are all represented by an animal and Dragon is the only one that is a mythical animal. The rest of the animals include a rat, an ox, a tiger, rabbit, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog and pig. But let's hope that we get a lot of luck and prosperity in Year of the Dragon this year. And one last thing, just while we're speaking of luck, I did also get this from Timu, which I think it should be that way if we've got the proper symbol, and it should mean Fu, which is sort of meaning like prosperity and fortune. It is a pin badge but it was kind of falling off so I think we're gonna actually just pull that off then use a bit of felt to cover that and glue it over and then we've got quite a cute little cushion. So I think I will give that to Maylin and she can have a nice lucky cushion. So thank you very much for watching as I unboxed this beautiful new doll and had a look at this gorgeous Aliexpress outfit. 
anyone who celebrates. I wish you a very happy Chinese slash Lunar New Year. I hope you all have a lot of luck and prosperity during the Year of the Dragon. But for now, if you did like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please do subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye!